Hello everyone, I am Surabhi. Welcome to my channel. So today I am answering an academic question that how do I make my kids remember the multiplication tables? Uh, so we do not cram the multiplication tables as I did in my childhood that standing in front of class and you know repeating the tables till we remember them. Uh, we derived the multiplication tables and we started uh, this all the concept of multiplication uh, mainly inspired from the US curriculums uh, if you see the good and beautiful uh, they teach multiplication by singing mainly even uh, they don't Christian curriculum also they do by singing everything so I got inspired from that I'm going to explain that methodology because now it's working for us I can see that so it's tried and tested so uh, there are two parts in the multiplication tables uh, this whole uh, topic is that one is a concept of multiplication and second is a multiplication table as such so the concept of multiplication I have made a detailed video I think in year back because uh, you teach the concept of multiplication when the kids have learned the basic addition like 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2 plus 2. When they learn that basic two digit addition, you can explain the concept of multiplication because multiplication is not a new like altogether very different term. It is just a multiple addition. You can refer to that video to see uh, you know what kind of puzzles and questions we used to do but I'll just touch like in brief uh, what is the concept of multiplication. So first thing is uh, multiplication is just a multiple addition like 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 2 into 2 is equal to 4 basically 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 2 3 times so multiplication is nothing but writing the long addition questions in a short or uh, like in a compressed way that is a multiplication concept and this we started when kids were like 6 and 7 when they learned the basic addition thing that they could do on fingers like 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 so 2 means 2 times like that you know we start more of a talking kind of thing rather than uh, you know uh, just making multiplication like a huge thing nothing like that we just start talking about the multiplication concept second thing we talk about skip counting so skip counting is nothing that you skip a number and the next comes if you see it's just multiplication but when the kids are younger we talk about let's do skip counting game in which we will skip by two and they'll the, tell the next number. So if my daughter is sitting here, we will play the game. I say two, she says four, six, eight, 10, 12. So we start with the skip counting for two, five, 10. And this can be done musically uh, while playing the games, while climbing up the stairs, uh, like five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 35. So, you know, these three numbers like two, five, 10 are easy to do skip counting. So basically we are just teaching the concept of skip counting that so that later on when we go on making the multiplication tables they are nothing but just skip counting right so but uh, when the kids are younger like six and seven year old we talk about the concept of skip counting and we practice it and let the kids enjoy that skip uh, counting thing for two five ten initially then we move to three four uh three four are also easy six gets complicated but like it's just a concept that what is skip counting and after that uh, we talked about addition skip counting and addition is nothing but uh, multiplication is nothing but multiple addition after we are done with that we are comfortable and happy we start with a multiplication matrix so we started this multiplication matrix in this year beginning uh, when I was uh, started teaching my elder one about you know doing the multiplication questions like 8 into 3 or 5 into no 5 is easy but like 9 into 5 so for that she need to make this multiplication matrix and solve the questions so I'll bring you closer to show you what is multiplication matrix it's basically the tables in a compressed form like we write 2 into 2 is equal to 4 2 into 3 where we do don't do that we just uh, uh, like I'll show you I'll bring you closer and make explain what is a uh, multiplication matrix so this is a multiplication matrix uh, so uh, what we do is in the beginning of the school week that is Monday uh, now my younger one is learning elder one is like understood so she'll come and she'll make this matrix on the board I have taught her but uh, now she so that the whole week when she has any multiplication question she doesn't have to remember it she'll come and see okay six threes are but because she has derived it because she's looking at the numbers again and again and again she started remembering now I think till the table of six she doesn't come near this matrix till then she can do in her mind but uh, like bigger numbers so I'm just telling that we don't need to cram it because we derive it every single week we uh, we just remember it because we are so used to doing it so it just it's nothing it's a simple 10 10 and then we uh, I'll just get the 
marker. So we do like this. Uh, let's do the skip table. Uh, skip counting of two. Okay, two, four, six, eight. Because the child has learned the skip counting already, she can do it. Okay, three. She has remembered. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. And you see this one. Is a perfect squares which teach taught the concept of fit to it they didn't get it but yeah so that's why this number I filled it and because every week they will do the skip counting of each number they will you know uh, forget here when it goes to five eight times they will uh, like no six eight times they will goof up but because they are doing multiple six plus six twelve twelve plus six eighteen eighteen plus six twenty four twenty four plus six thirty 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 six because they will be driving it so many times eight into six Again, getting the concept that 8 into 6 is same as 6 into 8. So the concept which we, I don't know, it's associative law or commutative law. I don't remember it. But again, that basic concept that, you know, see 8 into 6 is same as 6 into 8. So we make this table again and again. We look at it again and again. We try to find our solutions from it. And as I've seen in my elder one's case, now she doesn't need to remember the metrics. Uh, Sometimes I've seen her uh, writing the table, skip counting of 8 and 9 on the, when she's doing the uh, workbook uh, at the side so that, you know, she remembers the table of 8 and 9. But otherwise, rest of the numbers she remembers. So, uh, that is, is a multiplication matrix and that's how we are remembering, deriving the multiplication table and it is not that hard. It is much more logical and makes much more connections in my kids brain at least. So, uh, give it a try. Uh, when the kids are younger, do the basic concept of uh, multiplication, check the video and see with your grown-up kids who are supposed to remember the tables if this works because it works for us. So that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.